Hello guys, Fishkeeper Fanatic here, and I'm gonna do another My Top 5 video. And this My Top 5 is my f Top 5 Terrors. At number 5 is the Silver Tip Terror. Now, the Silver Tip Terror is, like most of Terrors, don't get very big, about 1.5 inches max. I call the Silver Tip Terror because obviously the tips of its fins are like white. Whitey silver, and they're fairly easy to look after. They'll take a wide variety of live and free foods. Uh, very peaceful community fish. So, uh, yeah, readily available as well at most fish stores. Um, yep, so that was the silver tip terra at number five. Number four is going to be the for me, it has to be the Glow Light Tetra. Glow Light Tetra. Very, very nice fish. It's got like the... It's like a neon, but without the neon blue. It's sort of like a gold line across the body. Really nice fish. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting in the tank. For some reason, it's not very light in here. So yeah, number four was the Glow Light Terror. Number three, I'm going to put the Black Phantom Terror. These are a really nice tetra. I've got them in my tank now. I've got 12 in here. And they're a really nice community fish. Nice fins. And they're really nice. I really recommend them. Uh, really easy to care for. Uh, they're... They'll take a wide variety of frozen, live and flake food. They do prefer blood worm. It's best to keep them in a shawl of at least six, just to give them some security. These can get, not big, but they're one of the bigger types of tetra. These will get to about two, two and a half inches, I think. Not huge, but not small either. These are really good with like angelfish. And that was number three, the Black Phantom Terror. Number two, I'm gonna put the Neon Terror at number two. I've also got 12 of them in here. The reason he's a second is just because they're pretty limited. They're, I've heard a lot of people say these aren't really easy to care for, but I think they are. Given the right water quality, these fish are so easy to look after. Uh, they've got lovely colour. The red goes halfway across the body. These will also take a wide range of live. Um, they want the smaller live foods though. Just crushed up flake. I just feed them a prima palette, which is really good for them. Colour enhancing food. They're really easy to look after. I've got 12 in here. And that's just to give them extra security with the rams. Because they do get a little boisterous with the neons, but they're fine. Really nice fish. Yep, I highly recommend them. These are probably one of your most common aquarium fish that you will find anywhere. Very, very inexpensive. Um... Yeah, so that was number two, the Neon Terror. Now, number one, uh, it was either this, the Neon, or but my number one has to be the Cardinal Terror. Uh, the Cardinal Terror is exactly, not exactly, but very similar to a Neon Terror. The only difference really being Cardinals get slightly bigger and more bulkier than Neons, but the red on a Neon only goes halfway across the body, whereas on a cardinal tetra, the red goes all the way along the body. Cardinal tetras are very sensitive to water quality, so I would not recommend starting off with them. I would recommend probably putting them in a more mature tank, put them in last, or nearly last fish to go in there. But they once settled in a tank, really, really easy 
to look after. You just want to make sure that your water quality stays excellent for them. And they'll do really well. They'll also take a wide range of live frozen and dried foods. Uh, yeah. They're a little more expensive on the more expensive side. Uh, but, yeah, they're a really nice fish. So that was my top five peppers. Just tell me what your top five are in the comments. Please like, rate, and subscribe. Bye.